this shit really doesn't get you anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like it's it's not like you're gonna do this for some kind of recognition or anything in the in the quote unquote real world. You know, so we just try to have as much fun as possible. It's art, you know. So I mean, you're leaving your mark for the world to see a piece of yourself. So you know, you might not get to know this person, but you should get to know their work. Some sometimes that's all they got, you know. First of all, I want to say, I think a lot of the stylistic kind of like influences of, of graffiti are the fact that it's illegal, you know what I mean? Or that at one time you were painting something that was illegal. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the technique that, that graffiti artists use in doing even the stuff that they, they the legal stuff, mm -hmm. comes from the fact that one night they were out there and they were doing throw ups, quick throw ups, you know what I mean, uh, um, as they ran down the street being chased by police. When you get down to the core of it, it's just you saying, this is me, and though there's this system that's, that tells us that people like me might not get public recognition, I'm gonna take it my damn self. Um, and that's where it all stems from. Whether it be illegal, legal, whatever. You know how we're joking over here that I'm going over his piece or something like this. I actually went over his piece. I was and I was like 14 or something, and my first recollection of meeting him was his his fist coming at my face. You know, but it, because I did that. But you know what? That's that's just how it was, and and I think that that's missing. Yeah. What happened? You realize you suck. see graffiti you had to be a certain kind of person to be able to be out on the street at four o'clock in the morning you know and and walk down some of the streets that we walked down mostly like in the 80s and the early 90s you know mpd dc police you know if you weren't actively hacking someone with a hatchet they'd probably let you go you know what i mean you know i mean we plan stuff out we're like okay we're gonna go down l street which is a one-way street going this way we're gonna go against traffic so that we can see them when they're coming. And then we're gonna come back on M Street, which is one way going the other way. So DC is always kind of a street bombing kind of place. And there's guys out there that just wanna go out and destroy stuff at night. And that's all they wanna do. Maybe with a little bit of style. I like to bomb. <laughs> I like fucking shit up. I like leaving my mark, infamy. There's advertisements out here that I don't want to look at, so there's my shit. Look at that. To me, like walking down the street is probably a completely different experience than you walking down the street. Generally, I can tell like where they, how they went. Like mm -hmm. they went down F Street, took a turn on 9th Street, went up five blocks. You know what I mean? Not always, but I can tell what happened that night. Pretty much, I like I like graffiti, so it's like you know you look to see. What the fuck it is you like? You don't really be. I don't really have a lot of hate in my heart, so you know that's not what I'm here for. It's probably one of the quietest times of the day, really. Like everything else is with confusion. This shit's easy. Yeah, I just like bombing. I like the way paint smell. <laughs> I don't know.